Hello, I'm Liz Van Vliet and welcome to the Assist with Impact podcast. Join me as I explore the competencies and capabilities that allow you to assist with impact. I'll be sharing practical tips, strategies and insights that will help you move beyond what I call the order taker zone and be that little hinge that can swing big doors. If you're ready to be more proactive and have more impact in your role, then this is the place for you. Let's get started with the episode. Well, hello, lovely listeners. It is wonderful to be here recording a solo episode for you. This is episode 178 of the Assist with Impact podcast. And believe it or not, I'm actually recording this episode from the UK this week. So apologies that it's about a day late by the time it will hit your feed. And apologies if the sound quality is sounding a little bit echoey because I'm currently recording it as I sit in the hallway at my brother's house in rural Suffolk. So I'm over here doing some work and catching up with family at the same time. Very exciting. And wow, I cannot tell you how lovely the weather is here in the UK at the moment. I've been here for about half a week, jet lag going well, thanks for asking. And the weather, oh my goodness, I keep playing bingo with my brother because he keeps telling me how unseasonably warm it is. And every time he says that, I say bingo. So you'll all get a giggle out of that if you're UK based listeners. So anyway, just wanted to let you know that I am very apologetic if the sound quality is not great, but I'm very happy to be here in the UK. This is going to be a very short and sweet episode. It is basically just to give you a little bit of a taster for an upcoming masterclass. Well, it's actually an upcoming webinar that I'm going to be running And I'd love to invite you to come along. It's a free webinar. And if you register, you will be able to get the recording, which is very important for those of you that are not normally uh, up and about when I'm recording webinars in Australian lunchtime time zone. That's very important. So, I'm going to include the link in the show note, but I'm going to give it to you a couple of times as we record this episode. So it is a link, it's a bit.ly link, B-I-T-L dot L-Y forward slash linchpins are strategic, which gives you a bit of an idea of what the webinar is going to be about. So basically, I've been doing a lot of work lately, and if you've been listening to the podcast for a little while, you will have heard that I did a podcast episode recently on how you can really start being strategic and put some actions in place to really lift your game in terms of your big picture thinking right now. And that episode I will also link to in the show notes. But I also did a masterclass for the wonderful Roxanne Calder and the S10 recruitment ladies or team in Sydney. And on the back of that, I have had this conversation with a lot of assistants around this idea of assistance being more strategic and just really simplifying, not making it such a, you know, an all or nothing approach. So I am running this webinar that I would love to invite you to register for. And you will, as I said, if you register, you will get access to the recording. But I'd also love to see you there live if you are able to do that. And I will be promoting it on my socials. The gist of it, though, is that 
My approach to helping assistants develop their big picture thinking is to think of it like building any other muscle in your body. We may be naturally gifted when it comes to how strong we are in any muscle in our body, but we may also need to be somebody that needs to put more effort in. And so my approach to helping you build your strategic thinking muscle is to think of it as a bit of a commitment to joining the strategic thinking gym run by your favorite personal trainer, Liz Van Vliet. So I'm going to give you a little snapshot for the four areas that you're going to hear me talk about in this webinar that I'm running, that I'm going to focus on helping you have as your sort of key, if you think about a gym, we have our key exercise stations, and it's no different when it comes to our big picture thinking, building this strategic thinking muscle. So station number one in our gym that's going to build our big picture thinking and our strategic thinking is the no station. And that's the one that you know, there you go, a bit of a play on words there. You know that I love to talk about your insights. And that is something that I talk about in my linchpin model. So this no station is all about your observational skills, observing and seeking to understand and get insight into trends. So in this little webinar, I will talk to you about some ways that you can go about doing that and ways that, you know, other assistants are going about doing that. Then we move on to our second station. So in your mind's eye, think of this like a little circuit at the gym. Your next station is the think station. And that's the one that's all about asking those tough questions. Asking the questions that are going to help you get that strategic insight that you need to be able to be not just efficient, but effective. As you know, that's sort of one of my little mantras. Then we move on to the third station. And remember, there's four stations in total. The third station is all about how you speak. And I'm going to talk to you in this little webinar about ideas and concepts around how you can sound more strategic. And then the final station is the ACT station. And that's the one that's all about being intentional, making time for thinking and reflection. And the one that's also around embracing conflict. And so we're going to talk in the the webinar about the fact that in order for you to be able to make room for you to be able to build your strategic muscle, that might mean you saying no or pushing back or exerting your boundaries. So we'll talk a little bit about that. So those are the four stations in the Liz Gym for building your strategic muscle and becoming a more strategic thinking assistant. And if you have the time, I would love you to register to come along to this little old free webinar that I'm going to be running. Oh, I haven't actually told you when it is. That is so rude of me. Let me tell you, it's not for another month or so. So it's on July the 12th at 12.30 Australian time, uh, lunchtime in Australia. So as I said, promising you that if you register by going to that bit.ly link, bit.ly forward slash linchpins are strategic, you will definitely get the recording. So that is my little gift to you. 
consider that your little overview of what it would look like to come along to the workout with Liz on July the 12th that's going to help you. And a lot of these, it's like anything, when we go along to a personal training session or the gym, it's not like we've not done these exercises before. It's just that we need somebody maybe there reminding us of our technique or pulling, putting us through our paces because otherwise, if you're like me, you can avoid the gym and not go for months at a time, which is currently the case just by the by. But bottom line is that I want to help you build this muscle. And so this little simple four-step circuit is what I want to share with you that's going to help you have some really actionable and practical ways to build this muscle. So I hope you have enjoyed this little mini solo episode from me. And I hope that wherever you are, you are having a good week. And I'm very much looking forward to bringing you uh, another little interview pair in the next few weeks with a fantastic US-based assistant that I cannot wait to introduce you to. So that's a little teaser for that. Anyway, that's enough from me. Hopefully the quality of this has not been too unbearable. Thanks for listening. for listening to today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see the show notes, head over to my website. It would be great if you haven't already done so. If you enjoyed the show, if you could kindly go to iTunes and leave a review. It helps other people find the show. Thanks for listening and have a great week.